You can catch a train in multiple places, whether to take you to work or on a vacation, there's a mode for every occasion. For traveling in and out of a city, two modes prevail, heavy rail and light rail, and I'm going to explain which one is which. Welcome to another episode of Rail Fan Explains. Today I'm going to explain the difference between light rail and heavy rail, or from streetcars and subway systems. Let's get into it. The easiest way to explain light rail and heavy rail is with three simple words, streetcars and subways. But how I got to that answer is more interesting. Let's start with the lighter of the two. Light rail is predominantly used in cities and around smaller suburbs. It is a fast and efficient way to travel into and out of the city and can serve lower and higher capacity routes. Most light rail systems are used on either subsurface or above ground routes mainly because they are so light that their tractive effort isn't exactly the best with steeper gradients, but they can climb them if they need to. One big difference you can see physically between the two is when you're above ground. Light rail vehicles are light enough and narrow enough in some cases that they can operate in mixed traffic, which means running on the same streets that cars and trucks do, which helps riders connect to other modes of transportation or to their jobs houses easier. Light rail can also handle tighter curves allowing them to move around street corners with ease. Light rail is also cheaper to implement in cities since it uses existing road surfaces and doesn't require heavily constructed subway tunnels. Light rail vehicles also look more streamlined overall than subway rolling stock mainly because they are more subject to the elements because they are running on street surfaces. Most light rail systems run their vehicles in singles or pairs since the rolling stock used on systems like this are constructed in articulated sets, which means it's two carriages with a single truck in the middle allowing them to make those sharper turns and make the cars lighter. Light rail vehicles nowadays are also mostly low floor or all low floor cars, making wheelchair accessibility easier from street level. They also use electric overhead catenary power. Due to the environment they run in, it would be kind of unsafe to have a third rail on a busy street. Next, we move on to the heavier subject, heavy rail or subway trains. Heavy rail trains are typically freight and commuter trains, but we'll focus on heavy rail subway as it goes in with the public transportation piece of this. Subways use isolated corridors for travel, generally underground or above ground on, on viaducts or bridges away from pedestrian traffic and car traffic, allowing them to travel at higher speeds, carry more passengers, and move a longer distance in a shorter amount of time. Heavy rail trains also have a longer stopping distance if they're traveling at speed, which means traveling fast, and they're, if there is an emergency. Because these trains are larger and heavier, most are not low floor trains like light rail trains are. Most of the components of a heavy rail vehicle are located between the bogies of the train under the passenger compartment instead of inside the passenger compartment like a light rail vehicle. If a train arrives at the platform, the platform needs to be level with the car doors to allow for smooth and seamless boarding and exits. This also helps with, helps with handicap accessibility. Moving to the power side of things, most subway systems opt for a third rail method of power, which uses a third electrically powered rail next to the main tracks to supply electricity to the cars. This method is cheaper and easier to implement, and generally safer as well, so that if something were to happen, debris won't knock it out of the air onto unsuspecting passengers, causing a greater issue, but that rarely happens. Thanks for watching the second episode of Railfan Explains. Comment what terms you would like me to explain in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and always remember, enjoy trains.